Hi, this is Ian from youthworker.org. We're just going to have a quick look at how to embed a MailChimp archive into your website. This is the MailChimp archive uh, just in front of me. Uh, these are the issues that we've put in um, today. These are the issues that we manly, manually did. But uh, let's have a look at a better way to do uh, the archive. Okay, in your dashboard when you've logged in, go to campaigns. Campaigns will uh, take you to uh, just a list of things that you've sent out already or um, new stuff that you, that you want to send. Click on the folders icon and um, add a new folder. And it's as simple as that, it gives you the new folder. We're going to give it a, a, tame, uh, a name. Um, we're going to call it test and we're just going to click on return. So there you go, there's a folder and um, once we've done that we can click off it and we're going to for example put in um, this issue here issue 8 September uh, into uh, a folder so we're going to use the move to and we're going to put it in test and there you go it's now in test that's the test folder it's in there you can see all of your folders by clicking all um, and then all folders will appear but the great thing about um, and it is you've got this folder archive code down the bottom so you click on the folder archive code uh, this is the advanced bit the bit that you really need to do is the previous bit but there you go so we can look at the folder archive highlight that copy that and go to our web page um, and edit it and, and insert it in there um, in Drupal you need to add enable PHP and paste it in there as a piece of PHP uh, if you've got that permission on your site you probably don't you probably need to talk to your website administrator to do that for you okay uh, once you've got your code you can close down your little window where it was you can go back to your MailChimp um, and do whatever you want with it so we're going to have a look at uh, a test uh, folder again and actually what we want to do is click on that one and uh, move it uh, back to where we should be which is in the ADO news archives because that's where uh, 2013 that's where we really want it um, that's where it belongs uh, once we've done that we can go on carry on and we can look at our templates we can create a new campaign we can do all the things that we want to do once the uh, uh, the next newsletter is about to be published so September so um, it's October now we would put this uh, into the archive by clicking move to and then clicking the archive we've already done that we're just about to post out a new October email so we don't have to worry about it too much but that's how you do it it's a really simple job and then on the web page it will have the list of the things that you've got there uh, on this particular site we're going to remove the older links because we don't need them anymore because we've got the full archive from MailChimp on there and it will automatically update this page every time we update the MailChimp archive page or archive folder and that's all for me thanks very much for listening I'm Ian Hurst I'm at youthworker.org and at uh, ian.hurst.org.uk and you can always find me at adult-dyslexia.org and that's our dyslexic website and that's the website that we were just looking at now so Adult Dyslexia organization is at adult-dyslexia.org. Visit us soon.